GLCAC vision. GLCAC is committed to raising up tomorrow's leaders. GLCAC mission to model education for building the nation. You are my that you are my full of me that you hear me when I call Is it true that you are thinking of me how you love me It's amazing And I'm so excited for this day's happenings! <laughs> Me too, Chio! But before we bring to them today's menu, let us recap what has happened last time. Let's travel back to minding our ABC. A for attitude, B for behavior, and C for character. How about this one? Older brothers, 
the sons of his father's wives and one younger brother. You know, you know Chio, after I watched episode 2, I had a dream. I was a princess with a beautiful dress and a crown. And I was walking in the garden of a palace, touching beautiful flowers and smelling them. Wow, you had a very yeah. nice dream. Yes. Do you always dream of becoming a princess? Uh, not really. I know I can be a princess in my own ways. That's right, AC. When God made us, we had a wonderful and excellent. Ooh. And this is what we will talk about today. Ooh. My best characteristic is being generous. God made me joyful. Being joyful so I can spread happiness to others. A brave, joyful, and expressive person. God made me brave so I can look over my auntie and my parents. Joyful so I can bring happiness to everyone. Expressive so I can tell others what I feel so we can understand better. What is your best characteristic and what can you do with it? I'm strong and beautiful. That's why I don't get sick easily. Another trait really that you God made me, my family's bundle of joy. When my family is sad, I will cheer them up and put a smile onto their faces. At JLCAC, we help you become the best that you can be. <laughs> Lacey, wow, that's a very beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. Where did you get that? This is my friend Hermie. He used to be very sad when he was still a caterpillar. Now he is so happy that he has become a butterfly. Mm -hmm. I wonder why he said when he was still not a butterfly. Uh-huh. Let's go to teacher Feli and ask her about the process of becoming a butterfly. Let's go. You're right, Jill and AC. A caterpillar goes through certain stages before it can be a butterfly. That process is called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis came from a Greek word which means transformation or change in shape. There are four stages in the metamorphosis of butterflies, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Eggs are laid by an adult female butterfly. This can be laid from spring, summer, or fall depending on the species of butterfly. The next stage is larva. The butterfly is called a caterpillar at this point. A caterpillar just eats and eats until it grows and sheds its skin. The food eaten is stored and used later when the caterpillar becomes an adult. From a very small egg, a caterpillar can grow 100 times bigger at a certain stage. 
The caterpillar then stops eating and turns into pupa where it hides in its cocoon for a few weeks up to two years for some species. Inside its cocoon, it may seem that nothing is happening, but this is when the legs, wings, eyes, and other parts rapidly develop until the big day arrives that it matures into a very beautiful butterfly. The metamorphosis of butterfly is somewhat similar to what we all go through as human beings. God destined a specific time for our birth date. We were fed physically, emotionally, mentally, and most of all, spiritually, and went through all process where we thought nothing is happening, but God is after all doing wonderful things in our lives for our best potential to come out one day. With this illustration, we hope everyone will appreciate how God is processing all of us to become the best person whom God desired us to be. Hi kids! My name is Tisha Riza and we're going to have fun today learning edition. And we have a mission for today. Your mommy wants to prepare snack boxes for you, your big brother, and your daddy. So let's help her out. I really need just to make snack boxes full of love. I'm gonna put some sweet and juicy a -a apples. One, two, three. My little girl, big brother, and their daddy. What else can we put inside the snack box? Hmm, cookies. Cookies for you and me. This is the energy. Yummy, tasty, and squishy. One cookie for my little girl, two for her brother because this is his favorite, and one for their daddy. Oops. There's still a little space for their drink. Bags of milk for protein and calcium make you healthy and strong every day. Now I think everything's ready. So let's see what we got in each snack box. My little girl has a one, two, three in her snack box. Her big brother has one, two, three, four. And their daddy has one, two, three. So how many do we have all in all? Three plus four plus three equals... Tell your mommy how many food items she needs to prepare every day for your snack boxes hope we were able to help her. Thanks for joining me today. I will count on you again on our next math mission. Good day! Good morning, kids and parents. I am Teacher Mitch, and we are here again at GLC ACES Science Laboratory to discover a supernatural phenomenon that has happened to every one of us. Do you know that among all the creations of God, we human beings are the most special? But first, answer this. In science, what they call the study of living things or life, including their structures and processes. Yes, the branch of science that deals with the study of living things is called biology. From the Greek words bios, meaning life, and logos, which means study. So now, we have invited a very important person in GLCAC to talk about life. Here is our mom from the Board of Trustees, 
Doctora Lucila Gachalian. Hi to all the kids and parents watching us today. I am Dr. Lucy Gachalian, an OBGYN. Since I started my profession, I have delivered thousands of babies ever since I started in 1992. And every time I hear their first cry, I am so privileged to be always the first one to hold them. I always say in my heart, another miracle is born today. Because from the time a baby is conceived, a miracle has already started. The union of your mommy's egg cell and your daddy's sperm cell that has championed over the other sperms does not occur by accident. Then how you were formed in the womb and came out healthy and strong is again another miracle that we are not always in control of. From your first heartbeat to your growing life inside your mommy's body, these are all supernatural things. And as we do the natural things like feeding ourselves with the right kind of food and taking care of our health, there is a stronger hand forming a person from the womb until he is born and even while he is living here on earth. And that is God, who owns our lives, who created us and planned only great things for us. Every life created is valuable to God. And so let's be glad and appreciate that when God made us, He meant to give us a beautiful life. Thank you for listening, and I hope to see you joyfully living the life that God gave you. Good day, and God bless you all. Hello, kids and parents. Teacher Jason and I are here again to share to you our own song, telling us that of all that God has made, you and me are the most special and most loved. And He wants us to be with Him all the time. See with us, kids.
Hello kids and parents! Our story for this episode is about the beginning of everything. Have you ever thought how this beautiful world was created? Do you know that everything came with just words coming from God's mouth? Oh, except with the one that He made with His bare hands. Man, that's you and me. Come and join me as we watch and learn on the story of creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark, but the Spirit of God was there. And God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. That day was the first day. On the second day, God said, Let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens to the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. Then God called dry ground land and the waters seats, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plants and trees. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let the lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights the sun for the day, and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights to light the earth, and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, let waters swarm with fish and every life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, Let the earth make every sort of animals. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed the man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man, and the man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper. So God put man into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along the ground. Then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given you all every green plant as food for the animals. Then God looked over all that he had made and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said that it was holy. So, what did we learn from the story of creation? Number one, 
God created all things perfect and beautiful. Did you see how orderly He made each thing on each day? He must be a very good planner, so we can entrust our lives based on His plans because God never makes mistakes. Number two, before God created man, He made all things available for man's needs. This means that man will never lack anything. God's provision come before our needs. Number three, you and I were created in His image and likeness. We were formed not just by words, but by His hands. And yes, we are God's masterpieces. And we were created to become leaders or leaders in our places of assignment. Let us now thank God as we pray. Lord, thank you for providing everything for us. Thank you for our lives, for the best things you have prepared for us. Teach us to entrust our lives, our dreams, and our hopes in your mighty hand. Thank you that your plan is to prosper us and not to harm us and to give us a good future. In Jesus' name, amen. Good day and see you on our next episode here at Kids TV. Class three. I am a bright and intelligent student because I have the mind of God. I succeed because I am more than a conqueror. Okay. I've been placed on this earth for a purpose. In the head and not the tail. Above and not below. I am a part of God's greatest move. To rebuild the ruin of cities. Therefore, I am permitted to fulfill this heavenly calling. Thank you for watching our channel. Go ahead and click the bell. Ding dong, ding dong, and click the top. I told you today, I met a cool party. <laughs>